Hey guys, it's me, Miss Reaper, and today I'm here to talk to you about Disney Magic Kingdoms, a game that I play on the mobile literally like every single day, and I mean every day, from the crack of dawn to the moment I go to bed, pretty much. So, let's uh, see what's new with this update, shall we? So, this update is update 64. And within it, we have two new characters with Webby from the DuckTale series and Madame Medusa from The Rescuers. Our new attraction is the Golden Condor from DuckTales. You mostly see Launchpad in this, but he's not in the game as of yet. Maybe, hint, hint, very soon. Tasha, Javin, that's to you guys, maybe. <laughs> And the Tower Challenge event begins this Thursday, the 17th of November, and ends on the 2nd of December 2022. Now, I had to do some research on this, but here is Webby joining the crew, and there's Madame Medusa with Miss Bianca. Now, the Golden Condor, there is a bit of a typo in the game at the moment on Windows and iOS. The update isn't available at the moment for Android, but very soon, as long as Google decides they want to approve it. But in the game at the moment, it says that it is 15, well, 150,000 Elixir to buy from Merlin's shop. That is incorrect, and it is meant to be 15,000 Elixir. And this is what it looks like in game, okay? Now, Webby in DuckTales will cost us 80,000 magic to welcome. Of course, that's what she looks like in the original and the version which has been added to the game. Not the remake, which was like, I think 2017 or something like that. I could be a bit off with a date. Um, but to welcome her, you need 60 A found coin tokens, which are common. They like to drop every chance that you get. Uh, 12 Webby's doll tokens, which are epic. And 10 Webby ear hat tokens, which are legendary. Okay. Uh, Madame Medusa from the Rescuers will cost us a whopping 850,000 magic, um, which... I sort of put the range in that one as well um, during the week leading up to this where I estimated around 800,000 to a million magic considering that Miss Bianca is 750,000 magic to welcome. That's what she looks like. She is creepy. She is one of the scariest Disney villains out there just because of her looks. Not because of her actions, just her looks. She terrified me as a kid. <laughs> So to welcome her, you need 60 message in a bottle tokens, which I forgot to put, they are common. 40 Madame Medusa earring tokens, which are again, epic. And 30 Madame Medusa's ear hat tokens, which are legendary. Now, we shall talk about the tower challenge, which is Wreck-It Ralph themed. Um, this is the tower. And this is your villain. I vibe from Maleficent. She is like the goddess of Disney villains. Okay, um, so what is a tower challenge? It's a 15 day event with five, well, th five days each of three chapters. And your rewards for this one are Calhoun, which will cost 15,000 Maleficent coins, Fix It Felix, which will cost 20,000 Maleficent coins. Yes, with three S's, because, you know, you've got to emphasize on that one, will be 30,000 Maleficent coins. Shank will be 55,000 Maleficent coins. And Vanellope Von Sweets, which will cost a whopping 90,000 Maleficent coins. As you can kind of see, there will be no Wreck-It Ralph, Spamly, or Gord within this 
um, tower challenge which is a shame for those who haven't been able to go to obtain those characters now there has been a f mighty few changes to this tower challenge whereas we now have um, favored collections which will change throughout um, the um, different challenges so like say you send out one batch of characters to challenge the tower and then once that's all done it will then like switch around um, so that you can change up your well fight team so within this image you can see Toy Story, Beauty and the Beast, Cinderella and Pocahontas are your favoured team but then Chip is your featured character which means he never gets tired um, the timing has also changed for this each time you challenge the tower to be uh, from every two hours to every four hours that is also to help out with the exploration I think <laughs> don't quote me on that one okay um, but this is your exploration tab um, each quest is basically a different time you need different characters and you need to either complete a whole row or a column to get the last well reward but do be careful because you could land on a trap which will make it impossible for you to send out another exploration uh, these traps will basically make a tier 2 tapper occur what are tier 2 tappers you ask? well those are not the tappers that you just go around and click you actually have to collect the resources in order to get rid of them and then send characters out to basically banish say shadows or cursed trees or voodoo dolls depending on whichever spawns now you won't be able to do any more explorations until those are completely wiped out from your kingdom yeah <laughs> um, and this is a new thing that they've added in to basically help with refresh tokens or hot chocolates and now I really want a hot chocolate this tower challenges always make me want hot chocolates um, so basically this will allow you to send out a attraction to collect refresh tokens which will help with tired um, characters another thing that's changed and I don't quite like this change but I'll see how it works is that the daily refresh um, no longer allows for refresh tokens like your daily refresh is just gone okay <laughs> which is probably why they have actually give us 10 refresh tokens at the start of each chapter within the daily rewards which I think is a good idea it'll keep us all you know on pace I think but yeah that's basically it and it is 15 days long do not listen to the event ends in 22 days 23 hours and 59 minutes this is taken from the patch notes <laughs> so yeah so guys if you like this don't forget to like comment and subscribe now this is a message to the kingdom is get out there and protect your kingdom from evil okay so bye guys <laughs>